What up? It's your boy Luke for Prez back yet again with another video for you guys. Hope everyone's doing great out there. Today, I'm going to be making a future type beat with the help of Captain Plugin's Epic. So let's go ahead and get started here. So as usual, I'm going to start with Captain Chord's Epic. Get some chords going here. I'm definitely gonna utilize a minor scale, something dark and aggressive. I'm gonna do B minor today. That's what I'm feeling. Future type beats are typically characterized by a lot of like dark bell melodies, some ambient pads, sometimes some melodies played in reverse just to give it kind of a crazy chaotic kind of feeling. So I'm gonna try to incorporate some of those elements into the beat today. We'll see where it goes. All right, so I have Captain Chords Epic pulled up. What I wanna get going here is just like a really basic chord progression with very little variation at first, and then I'm gonna kind of spice it up from there, essentially. So to get some chords going, all you have to do is just click this plus button, and then that's just gonna generate like the basic B minor chord. And then of course you can kind of play around from there, but we'll start with that. I have just the basic piano preset pulled up. That's a good starting point for me. I typically do the actual like melody composition first and then worry about sound selection after. But you know, everybody's process is different. So, so let me see how this sounds with just this B chord here. Cool. What I think I'm gonna do is at least for this first part, uh, just basically move one note down and again, the cool thing with Captain Chords is wherever you move these notes, it's going to be in the scale of B minor. So you never have to worry about wondering if your notes are going to sound good with the rest of your melody because the plugin itself just makes sure that everything's gonna sound good. So let's see how this sounds now. Yeah, so just like real basic back and forth, just Just one semitone difference in that middle note here. And what I'm gonna do from here is actually move this middle note up a couple octaves just to give this thing a little bit more space. To do that, you just highlight everything and then click and hold and you can just drag up to a higher octave. So that was D, so let's see how that sounds. So that's cool. I'm actually gonna raise it one more though. There we go. Cool. So that's just a four bar loop. I wanna extend this out to eight. So to do that, you just click this little triangle here and then you can drag it out to as many bars as you want. And there's eight. So from here, what I'm gonna do is duplicate this pattern and then I'm gonna add some variation to the second half. To do that, you just highlight everything and then you can hit duplicate and that's gonna bring it over to this new section that I just created. For this next part, what I wanna do is add some variation to the bass note so it's not just this B hitting over and over. So let's drag these two down and see where they sound best. Nice. And then these two, I'm also gonna move down. Let's see how it sounds on A there. Cool. So I'm happy with how that sounds. I'm definitely not gonna leave it as a piano. I'm gonna try to find a bell preset that fits the vibe that I'm going for here and then kind of layer it and add to it from there. So let's see what we can find. Since I used some of the Captain Plugins sound presets in the last video, I'm actually gonna try a different strategy today and use some sounds from Omnisphere. So to do that, it's very easy. All you have to do is open up a new software instrument. And then in this case, I'm gonna open up Omnisphere, okay. And now what you can do is use this little MIDI export button within Captain Chords to simply drag the MIDI to whatever channel strip you want. Now it's out of Captain Chords and I will drag this up so you can see it. Now those chords are in my piano roll within Logic and I can utilize them on any software instrument that I want. So let's see what kind of sounds I can find within Omnisphere. I have a ton of different banks 
Okay, so I was able to find a pretty dope bell sound that I'm pleased with, and I also added a few accent notes to the chords that I created in Captain Chords. So this is what it sounds like now. Boom, feeling that. From there, I actually duplicated that pattern and brought in another sound from Slate Digital's Anna 2 synth. That sounds like this. A little ominous sounding, you know what I'm saying? And this is what they sound like together. Yeah, all right, moving on. So just to take up a little bit more space in the mix, I actually went ahead and found another preset in Omnisphere that I really like. That is called Carpet. <laughs> Great name. It's a, like a keyboard sound. And I basically just used those same chords again that I created in Captain Chords um, and then just added like one additional note and just kind of repeated the chords. And with the other sounds. So just taking up a little bit more space in the mix. And speaking of taking up a little bit more space in the mix, I think this thing needs some low end. So I'm gonna try to find a bass in Captain Deep Epic, see if we can come up with both a dope bass line and a dope sound to use for the bass line. All right, so I got Captain Deep Epic pulled up. And as you can see, the default rhythm that it loads is just follow the chords. So it actually, and you can see here, there's like ghost notes of the chords that I created in Captain Chords. So the cool thing with Captain Plugins is all of the plugins talk to each other and basically uh, make sure that as you work through your workflow, everything's gonna be consistent in terms of like the key, the root notes, all that good stuff. So it makes creating bass lines in this case like extremely easy. And also it has some really cool presets for basses that I end up using like quite a lot. I don't even need to like go outside of the plugin, which is great. It saves me a lot of time. So let's see how it sounds with just the, the default punch bass and uh, follow the chords pulled up with what we have so far. Yeah, that sounds dope. Like I might just use that, but just for the sake of being thorough, I'm gonna cycle through some more rhythms, see if there's something that I like better, but like just that basic follow the chords, like you can't go wrong with it really. That's probably why it's the default one. So to look through the different rhythms, you just have to click on the rhythm here and then a bunch of different banks will get pulled up uh, with different genres that you can look through. And then within those genres, there's a bunch of different patterns for you to explore. And now what you would think I would do is go with trap because that's what I make, but I'm not picturing this bass line for like the actual 808 bass line that will ultimately be in the beat. This is like, I consider this one kind of part of the melody that will present itself in certain sections of the beat where I take some of the drum elements out just to like, again, like flesh it out, give it a little bit more low end. So I actually don't want a typical trap 808 pattern for this particular bass line. So I'm gonna like go into trance. Like, let's see, let's see what side trance is all about. I usually don't go into these different banks, but we're gonna try it. All right, maybe not for this one, but those are pretty cool. Let's try house, bass house. See what that's all about. Okay. Yeah, like something like this where it's still following the chords, but gives it a little bit more bounce. Yeah, that sounds pretty dope. I think I'm gonna use that. Now let's see what preset I can find. So in order to do that, you just click on the preset that's already pulled up. And now, as you can see, you get three columns here to look through. You can start with a genre and then narrow it down by instrument. And then the sounds within those columns will appear here. But you can also just use the search bar up here, which is what I'm gonna do in this case. So let me just type in bass. And let's just cycle through some of these till I find something that I like. Oh, that's cool. 
That's dope. It's like a piano. It, well, as the name implies, it's called bass piano. So it's like a bass with a piano, like playing like at a low octave. That gives it kind of that dark, ominous feeling that I'm going for. So I'm gonna use that. I've never used that one before. That's cool. All right, we're getting close here. We're getting close here, but I definitely wanna add a couple more elements. I'm feeling like some kind of choir, some kind of like dramatic choir situation. So I actually pulled up Labs from Spitfire Audio uh, and used their free choir VST. This is what it sounds like. Let me just solo it. And now with everything. Just subtle, but I dig it. This is getting real close. The last thing that I wanna do is pull up Captain Melody and see if we can come up with a cool top melody to use, at least in certain portions of the beat, maybe not throughout the entire thing. We don't want it to be too busy. Rule number one of producing rap music is you wanna make sure, it's probably true with all music, but you wanna make sure you're leaving enough room for the artist. So you don't wanna cram in too much stuff melody wise or drum wise really when it comes to creating beats. However, we gonna push the envelope a little bit today. Let's pull up Captain Melody, see what we can do. So here's Captain Melody Epic. All you have to do to get started is click this plus button here and it's gonna auto generate a melody for you that again is matching with the rest of the compositions you made in the other Captain Plugins plugins. So let's see how this sounds. You know what's wild? Like I definitely was not expecting to like this back to square one default synth that <laughs> that was pulled up, but for some reason it kind of works. So I might end up using that, but maybe not this particular pattern. So if you want to create a different pattern, all you have to do is click this little dice button here and that's gonna pull up an entirely new pattern instantaneously. Not quite what I'm thinking. Let me hit the dice button a couple more times and see what it presents me with. Okay. That's dope. It's a little bit busy. So what I could do is actually utilize these buttons up here to adjust the amount of notes in the melody itself. Specifically to do that, you actually click on rhythm and then you can play with the density and the rests and the triplets. But I'm gonna try something different. Instead of doing that and actually reducing the notes, I'm gonna throw halftime on this thing and see what it sounds like with that. Feel me? Like that's exactly what I was trying to do. So that worked out better than expected. All right, we can't possibly fit any more melody elements into this thing. So that means it's time for the drums. Let's go. So I've gone ahead and created a hard trap drum pattern. This is what it sounds like. Yes, indeed. So from here, I'm just gonna arrange this thing, throw on a future acapella so you can actually hear what it would sound like if he was really rapping on this. And I'm gonna get out of here. All right, I've gone ahead and arranged it. We're all set, future acapella in place. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. If you're interested in checking out Captain Plugins Epic for yourself, there is a link in the description. Use coupon code YouTube22 for 10% off. You heard it here first. Here goes the beat. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace. <laughs>